What happened was I bought this house. Um, uh, I'm a film composer. I work in Hollywood. I've really been very lucky the last six years and have made six figures and it's been phenomenal. And I qualified for a loan over a million dollars. And um, so I thought taking a house for 850000 was a practical thing. Um, and I had no debt. My credit score was in the 900s and everything was paid off from undergraduate loans from NYU, graduate loans from NYU. And uh, so I went to sign and the bank offered me more money. And, um, but I thought being practical, I would just stay with what I had and I, I love the house. And uh, in my industry, um, there was a, uh, uh, a strike, writer strike. And so production was halted for about six months. And with that, and my daughter with her JRA and those medical bills adding up, um, I fell behind in my payments. And so I went into remodification and contacted National City Bank in Dayton, Ohio, and uh, tried to remodify it. I'm now in my fifth uh, remodification, which is still pending. And um, I have sent them all my taxes and all the things that they have you do. You jump through hoops in remodification. And I have a book that's about that thick. Um, I had no phone. I was trying to save money. So I had no phone. So everything was faxed at Staples. So I could see how many hundreds of faxes that I had sent with dates on them and things. And I would just uh, receive a letter in the mail, a rejection letter, saying uh, I had been rejected, no reason. So um, I kept praying and hoping that um, things would turn around. I still was working. Um, that particular year was a good year for me. During a strike, I made $111,000. A lot of that went for my medical costs for my daughter. And um, I thought that the bank would help me out, particularly with the $350 billion loan out from the bank. It seems like they were helping a lot of people, but they weren't actually helping their customers. So since then, um, the, the amount of interest that they put on your bills and the late fees total so much money that I looked at one of my bills for $14,000 because I was late several months and it said $28,000. So you start feeling you cannot win. You can't get out from that debt. You can't. So I let my house go into foreclosure and I, since then I've had to file bankruptcy. My second mortgage, Bank of America and Green Tree, um, is trying to get a workout package um, from me. and. Basically, um, my house has depreciated over $250,000, so they're not going to see their little loan, so they're looking for me to help them out. They call about four or five times a day. They leave notes at my house, uh, and in foreclosure, uh, it's a really interesting thing that happens because everyone preys on you. I've gotten 250 letters from um, lawyers, scam artists, realtors, people knocking on my door, waiting outside my house, looking in my windows. Um, to talk to me about my foreclosure, like they're going to help me. And so you add that and the inhumaneness of that, and it it's, can be very stressful. Mm -hmm.